Oki nexu koex, nishtoni taniko pitaki, mach toto sixiket sitapi. Hello, everybody. My name is Lily Gladstone. I play Molly Burkhart in Killers of the Flower Moon. Ten months after my first audition, the next request was for a meeting with Leo and Marty. For that meeting, you know, it's very prepared. I had my sides next to me in case we were going to be doing a reading, and it just turned into a two and a half, three hour long Zoom conversation. Just kind of getting to know each other. And when it was over, I was a little bit surprised that we didn't get into the text. And of course, again, I'm like, oh, they didn't like me. It didn't go my way. Both my manager and agent called, and when they do that, it's big news. It's yours, you got it. In retrospect, I see that they were looking for a co-collaborator how well we could hold conversation and kick ideas around. The kind of cool thing is when I got the call, it was on December 1st, which nobody knew this at the time, but December 1st is the day that Molly Burkhart was born. When I was learning the Osage language, it's very different than anything that I'd tried to speak before. Osage doesn't have many first language speakers living today, but there are a lot of people who do speak the language. What I was kind of picking up on was there were some lines that were written from a very Western perspective that wouldn't have made sense to Molly at that time. One is the four sisters all together talking about these men, just gossiping about these men. Our Osage language consultants were having a hard time kind of translating some of the things we were saying that had been written in English. So the concepts didn't really carry over. So the four of us sat down together, all right, what would we be saying about these men? And at some point I had heard a story about Osage trickster figure, which is Coyote Shomikasi, which Molly like early on pegs Ernest as this. I never would have dreamed bringing up one of their trickster stories because not all stories are public domain in a way. Some stories are supposed to be for the community and not shared with outsiders. When we ran that idea by, a number of our cultural consultants and advocates made sense and it was kind of humorous. <laughs> so we just kicked it back and forth a little bit and then I fed Leo the line, well, I don't know what she just said, but it must mean handsome devil. That's how you are. I don't know what you said, but it must have been Indian for handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> that moment was a bit improv, but it wasn't Leo's improv. So just clarifying. <laughs> and my laugh was authentic, but it was Molly's laugh. It wasn't Lily's laugh. Marty has mentioned my wry humor. That's an element that I think all of the native folks who were a part of this were really excited to bring into it because native people are funny. <laughs> you know, oftentimes, you know, we're drawn as being very stoic, which Molly is, she's guarded. She's got a warm, humorous view on life. That's a very cultural thing. It happens sometimes that people don't necessarily realize how diverse Indian country is. There are 574 different recognized nations in this country. It was a refreshing thing as a non-Osage actress who is Native American. You know, we've all been affected by some of the same government policies, history with boarding schools, our history through the civil rights movement. A lot of those things are similar in the modern age. We are still very diverse in our experience and our opinions. So it was a refreshing and wonderful thing for me to know that there were Osage voices that were shaping who these Osage characters that were depicting real people were saying and doing. And it was just my responsibility to try and do that as much as I possibly could. I'm in a better position now to advocate in rooms with people who can affect that change immediately. There's a chance to really bring community to the table in a way that I haven't really had the influence to do before. I would love it if there were more opportunities for Native audiences to see themselves represented in every kind of role. To help place us in these moments where we always should have been. Prove that we can have a successful film with a Native lead, a Native heart of the story, even if it's not explicitly, I don't know, a Western, I guess.